Hi everyone, it's me. <laughs> so it's been a while since I've gotten on here and said something and like made a video. Um, so I want to do a quick routine of just like what type of sunscreen I wear every day, which ones I've been loving right now, and a little like get ready with me. What I usually wear every single day. Right now I don't have anything but sunscreen on. Um, and I'll tell you which one after. I'm personally not going to get too political on here because I don't believe, um, I should be talking about that on a YouTube video. I feel like that is so everyone's own personal, uh, vendetta that they have to go educate themselves on everything and really go into everything with open mind. So don't listen to a 19 year old teenager talk about politics. That's you're not gonna hear it from me. All right, so to get into my sunscreens I usually use, the first one that I started, cause, okay, let me just start with the beginning. On January 1st, so the new year, I had a resolution of wearing sunscreen every single day. Since I've been watching uh, Susan Yara's, or Mixed Makeup, uh, Skincare by Hiram, oh my God, I was like, I know it's Hiram, but, there's something else before it. <laughs> Skincare by Hiram. Love him. Gays gotta stay together. Gays gotta support gays. Alright? And Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre, because she's a dermatologist. She's amazing. You if all the times that you hear Susan Yars and uh make skincare by Hiram. I almost said makeup by Hiram. Oh my god. I see you, Hiram. Are you gonna do some makeup channel and stuff? But they always say, make sure you check with your dermatologist and you should always check with your dermatologist because they know your skin the best. But it is nice to hear a dermatologist's point of view um, on the internet. Mm, it's just out there for free, so it's very nice. But she, Dr. Dre recommended wearing sunscreen every single day. You reapply every day, which I never do. I'm just gonna preface that. I never reapply my sunscreen, usually ever. Um, if I get around to it, maybe, but usually I just put on a thick layer and then go on my merry way. So what I started off was the Neutrogena Pure and Free Baby Sunscreen SPF 50. And you might be thinking like, oh my god, SPF 50? Like, why are you starting off with SPF 50? Because they have said time and time again, if you apply a higher SPF, is more likely to last longer on your skin than applying a lower SPF, like SPF 30, or if it's mixed in with your moisturizer. It's gonna last like a couple hours, if that, if that. Maybe, like I would say a couple hours, if that, an hour, if you're lucky. Well, if you have a high SPF and you apply, apply a decent amount, it's gonna last maybe a couple hours, you know? I don't know the full science about it, but that's just what I've heard. So that's why I've been always getting sunscreens with SPF 50. Uh, so this one is, it's nice. It's very thick. Um, you know what, I would, out of 10, I would rate this a five out of 10. And you wanna know why? Because the texture is thick as hell. This is thicker than petroleum jelly. Like literally thicker than the tub of Vaseline I have in front of me. It's so thick, yet, I, I don't know. It's so, like, it's so thick and hard to rub around your skin to get a good cover. So you have to keep on applying more. Or you have to, like, dot it around your face so you can get, like, every single spot covered. And then you rub it in. It's so annoying. But it's good. Like, it is a good one to use. I just now use it on back of my neck, my ears, side of my neck, front of my neck my body now because it's insanely hard to apply and the white cast on this this is the typical like oh the sunscreen has white cast well ha 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 like oh my god this makes me look like gray like really really gray and super greasy like my face has been dripping in water so yeah, five out of 10, because like you can powder it down. I don't know what that does with the effective, 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 effectiveness, efficiency. 
think there's a word for it. It's um, efficacy. I don't know how powdering down SPF after it sets on your skin, if that ruins the efficacy. Who knows? So yeah, I just use this one on the body. Pretty nice. It's like eight bucks, I think, if you get it at Walmart, 11 bucks if you get it at like CVS or whatever. And then uh, for my face, I just started using and love this one after using this. This is the, Neutrogena has a shit ton of sunscreens, just letting you know. So I bought a lot of Neutrogena's, but there's another one that's not Neutrogena. And it's not really that well known of a brand, at least to me personally, but I saw it at Ulta. So this is the Neutrogena Sensitive Skin Face Liquid Sunscreen SPF 50. Now, this one is really liquidy. This one's about the consistency of water. So it is really easy to apply. It's super easy to apply. The white cast is minimal because this one actually does contain um, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. So it's not gonna give you the super white cast. Well, this one is just zinc oxide, like 21%. This is zinc oxide 2% or 3%, titanium oxide 5%. So it's using a little bit of a different method. I don't know if that means it's not gonna be as effective. They're both SPF 50. So if you're a dermatologist or a chemist and you know why this is so low yet it's still SPF 50, let me know. Um, does that just mean you need to reapply this one? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I used this one first and since I have a feeling since the zinc oxide is so low on that one, I'm like, mm. I don't know, and it still gives me a white cast. Keep in mind, it still gives me a white cast. Not as bad as this one, but it there is definitely 100% still a white cast. So I applied this literally all over my face, a generous amount. Give it a second, and then I apply this one. It's the Botanical Sunscreen Tinted Face. Why do they word it like that? <laughs> 50 Broad Spectrum SPF. It's supposed to be a BB cream. It's really, 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 really light coverage. Like, I'm talking about its main goal. I use it to begin with. Hello? The main goal I really use this for is to get rid of the slight, like, uh, slight white cast that this leaves by. And it is lightweight matte finish, antioxidant rich, vegan. This one contains 4% titanium dioxide and 4% zinc oxide. So a little bit higher, but also a little bit lower. So I don't know, but these two together, I have it on right now. I'm gonna reapply it because I applied this, I'd say 11, it's now, now I play it's like 10, it's about, I think it's like three or something right now. Yeah, I think it's like three right now, but I'm not gonna apply as much as I did in the morning because there's already stuff there and I'm not really gonna, I don't think I'm gonna go out right now. I don't have any plans to go out, so why put on a shit ton? You're just gonna be inside. You just need a little bit when you're inside. And yes, this is a little bit. So, just applying this everywhere. Yes, I did wash my hands before this. Actually, no, I didn't, but you should wash your hands before this. I just remembered I didn't wash my hands before this. I was like, wait, Jacob, no, you fucking did it. So I didn't wash my hands before this, but it's okay because like, I, I don't care, but like, I usually care. But like in the moment, I just forgot. So as you can see, it's not really giving me too much of a white cast because I do have this stuff on from before. But it's definitely there, honey. <laughs> so we're going to then apply this one. Just um, oh, this is the Australian Gold, by the way. That's the brand I was talking about. I don't really, I haven't really heard of, but I guess they're a thing. But it's really nice. A dab will do ya. That's it. 
A dab will do, yeah. And then I literally, oh, there's so much on my forehead, oh my god. Just try and dot this everywhere. Good even application, as the makeup artists say. <laughs> I literally learned all my makeup artistry through YouTube. All right, so if you don't think you can do eyeshadow, cut a freaking crease, I still don't know how to apply lashes, but I'm gonna learn one day. I worked five days in a row this week, so. Maybe I could work it out before, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But, I don't know why I said it three times in a row. But, yeah, we'll see. I'm, I'm working a lot more since it's summertime, and I finished my first year of college, guys. I do go to community college, so I am still at home, which is great because I was not, after this year, don't get me wrong, I'm ready to go to university, but at the time I wasn't, at the time when I graduated high school, I was like, or even right before that, like a couple months before, like even second semester, I was like, so, um, yeah, it's just, it's just nice that I know that I made the right decision. Kind of, because the advisor situation at the community college I went to, I was warned they were bad at first. Oh my god, during Corona, they were even horrible. They were even worse. Ho even horrible? English, buddy. They were even worse than I expected. Like, literally had negative empathy. Like, the girl literally was like, well, why don't you find out? And I was like, she gave me options. She was trying to give me options for other colleges, and I was like, Ma'am, my plan is to finish up one year here so I can get the associate's degree and then transfer out. Why are you trying to put me, like, get me to go to another school? I'm so... I filed a complaint, don't get me wrong, but do I think it did absolutely anything? No. <laughs> no, I don't think it did anything, if I'm being honest. I don't think it did anything because when I talked to her boss, because he was like, oh my god, let's have a conversation. Um, cause I was like, this is the second time this has happened to my family. This has happened to my older brother, like the exact same situation where I recommended one class and we're taking one class that didn't really count for anything, but they told you at the time that it did. And then they tried to tell you, well, I put in my notes that I said this and I'm like, well, honey, here's the thing. You didn't say that <laughs> you could have put it in your notes and I don't really care what you put in your notes, but I would not have chosen a class that you didn't already pre-select for me. So why would one of the pre-selected ones from last semester... It's my cat. Oh my god. Kitty!